Hey guys, welcome to Hey Guys, an internet obsessed podcast where we discuss all your favorite social media stars, what they're doing and how we feel about it. I am your host, Amanda Hasica, a content producer for Instant, which basically just means I keep my finger on the pulse of the internet at all times. Um, and if you don't know what Instant is, it's a new media outlet and video platform dedicated entirely to covering digital creators. Um, today I'm joined by our, one of our editors, Jonathan Ratliff, and our social media producer, Stephanie Vasquez. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having me. Stephanie was on the first couple episodes. Yes, the first two. Jonathan was on last week, so I'm happy to have them both here. We are currently sitting in on the 17th floor of the Hello Giggles office in the gorgeous downtown Los Angeles. The pet it's not fake. Suite. It's not fake. It our, we, all, fake. we said last week, we are like, this background looks fake. It's not fake. <clears throat> it's, it's legit. Real. It's real. Um, so on today's episode, the main focus, like this is going to be a very Paul- brother heavy episode of hey guys um i find them very fascinating jake and, jake and logan jake and logan <laughs> yes. if you don't know who the paul brothers are not aaron paul i was like aaron paul <laughs> um no so the paul brothers are two vloggers um they became really popular off of vine logan had a really popular vine kind of following and now they both do daily vlogs um, and Jake ha- is on a Disney Channel show now, and you know Logan Bizarre is, Bark, right? yeah, Bizarre Bark. And Logan <laughs> like wrote and produced like a movie called called Airplane Mode that all these um, like YouTube kind of creators and internet celebrities are going to be in. But anyway, so today is so we have a thing on Instant that we do usually every day. It's called BFD, which stands for Big Fucking Deal. And today's big fucking deal is Jake Paul and Alyssa Violet. Are having a lot of Twitter drama, like a Twitter feud, if you will. It, it, if you will, yes, exactly. So a little bit of background on this. So Jake Paul um, has this, like, literally his house is like full of YouTube creators and you know internet stars and all these people, and he calls it like Team Ten, and he's kind of like. He's like a very like budding entrepreneur. Like he wants, right. to, you know, he likes the business side of things, so he kind of represents all these people in a way and they all create videos together and they like do crazy shit like they have like one of Jake's vlogs they put a bunch of trampolines in the house and like we're all bouncing around but anyway so there's one girl who's part of the team 10 her name is Alyssa Violet and people say like there's been a lot of speculation as to whether they were dating or not and it was like Jalissa was their thing was oh Jalissa is Jalissa real yeah. And they always kind of tease, like, no one ever really knew if it was real or not. Why is that still a thing, combining names? Why is it that is. I don't know, what is it, there's a name to <clears> it. I know, I feel like, and I feel like they're trying to be, like, the internet Jelena, where they're trying yeah, to make this true. big thing. So, I, I have, I took notes on this, but basically, yeah, they all live in this house together, and so, a, Alyssa tweeted, so we all noticed this yesterday, this was all kind of happening, this was like Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon, and we were like, oh my gosh. So we started gathering all the evidence we could. But, so they were saying that Alyssa is getting kicked out of the Team 10 house, and she posted this note. There's like a few different things. It, it, I'm, this is about to be a journey that I'm gonna take everyone on. So, um, <laughs> Just dive right in. So Alyssa posted a note on her Twitter saying, I did not cheat, Jalissa was never real. Jake had girl after girl over every other night. Then he would try to be, cute with me the next morning and expect me to be okay with it. I have cried myself to sleep almost every single night living in this house. He would tell me he loved me, then hook up with a girl right in front of me that same day. Okay, side note, I hope that she means like kissing and stuff because I hope that no <laughs> other kind of hooking like 18 up. Years old. That would be so uncomfortable. <laughs> like, no. Okay, anyways. He would tell me he loved blah, blah, blah. Uh, I loved him and he used it to, t- to his advantage for his company, Team 10, <laughs> like still putting it out there um, and to make money off of me he always tells me I wouldn't be shit without him the truth is that this is the truth that Jake will never admit to and so she posted this and then he posted a video I can play it for you guys um, unless he deleted it because there was one tweet that he did delete that I noticed um, well first yeah Let's just, even off her tweet, <clears throat> it doesn't matter who, they're all using each other. Right. All, yeah, everyone's lived, a double, lived, such you, double so use. So that aside, it's like you're literally pulling each other up regardless of like who's in charge. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you brought these people into a house, so you are essentially using her because you're using yeah. her to create something that you right. want to be successful in doing. And she's joining the house to be successful and build each other up. Right. We talked about with Sawyer. It's like there used to be this 
like really great positive collaboration environment between everybody mm -hmm. and that's kind of like yeah. faltered a little bit because everybody found individual success so they're kind of like that's their version they're kind yeah. of holding on to an old school model model where i mean there's still collabs that happen right it's fine mm -hmm. but like they're so just like innocent and fun like right. miranda manny mua did their like makeover right. so like that stuff's fun and like it's quirky but like these guys are literally trying to build something together so you yeah. are using each other it's like everyone needs everybody whether he's yeah. using the relationship as like a thing a ploy as a, as a storyline or a thing right i don't i mean i don't even know what that buys you this could be part of it right yeah <laughs> well i think that got started with jake paul's video mm -hmm. where he said that basically they were together yeah. and she cheated on him yeah and he was like we were together jalissa was real um so like i i he deleted the tweet because I just went to go look for it yes. and it was deleted Absolutely. and it was a video and it was him that he was like this is Monday mm -hmm. um you know February 20th at this time like this is gonna happen and like here we go so he basically was like I took her from 2,000 followers working at Panera Bread to 6 million followers on social media so he sounded like super bitter about it first and of all then, Panera Bread's delicious so <laughs> good on let's her. not even yeah. bring him into good it good on her <laughs> right so um and then, yeah, so he basically kind of said that, and then he kind of changed his tune a little bit. Like, so to me, that sounds like super bitter. Like, yeah, super bitter. Said he cheated, she cheated on him with someone very close to him. Yeah. With, I don't know what that so means. So I need to see receipts for all of this, first of yeah. all. Like, there's so many layers to this. Like, I need to see receipts that Jalissa was real, like, before I will believe that they were real. Mm -hmm. And then I also need to see receipts... Like, just of everything. Like, I, we were talking about this yesterday. Like, we feel like this all could maybe just be a big ploy. It could just be a big ploy for them to get views and followers. Yeah. It's like they're starting this drama just for publicity. Yeah. It's not. But. but right. It's like, so Jake Paul yeah. of him to do that. Because we're talking about it very passionately. And we're like, what? This is like the perfect time for the Oprah, what is the truth gift? What is the truth? Like, what is the truth? What like, is the truth of this? This is a whole other weird topic that comes out of it. This is like. YouTuber credibility. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Clickbait. Click mm -hmm. click, click, yeah, it's clickbait. It's, yeah. it's, and they are so anti clickbait. Yeah. And so want to be just original. And so I are don't. They? Well, <laughs> most of them. So I don't know. I don't know if it's like, is clickbait above? I don't know right. that Jake Paul him is. Him or beneath him. And it's like, and if it, if it is clickbait, it is turned out to be fake. Yeah. I mean, it buys you that little boost at the mm -hmm. time, but, like, then you kind of sacrifice your credibility yeah. a tiny bit more. So when yeah. you do start to talk about something serious, it's just yeah. going to keep, like, everyone's going to keep completely the first reaction is, is this a joke? Are you a joke? Is this a joke? Right. And that kind of sucks. Yeah. That what? sucks to be in that place where, like, when you finally, when you take Team 10 out to do a movie or yeah. a show or this or that, gonna... it's this, it's like, no one knows how to perceive you. Yeah. If it's real. If, it's, if it's fake. If you well, know, yeah, like even <clears throat> his brother, Logan Paul, made a video with Alyssa saying Jake Paul used Alyssa for clickbait and he used her almost in every thumbnail he's ever he's posted yeah. for a really long time. Yeah. Like he would just use her in the thumbnail to get people to watch his video. And it wasn't about her. And it wasn't she, necessarily she, about yeah. her. <laughs> yeah. So but no. So how I know. So how I mentioned like he was he sounded super duper bitter. Um, when he posted that video. Mm -hmm. And then Alyssa went back and she added a few more tweets and she said, literally everyone knew how he treated me. All our friends knew how mean he was and treated me like property for his company, like you mentioned, like mm -hmm. using her as thumbnails. He told me every day we weren't dating and didn't want to be with me. The fact that he thinks I cheated is absolutely hilarious to me. So I think what happened, this is my theory. This is my theory of like what happened is, so I feel like Jake Paul, there is a potential that it's this is like fuckboy 101 where he probably really did like Alyssa and like want to be with her but yeah. just like didn't want to put the label on it it's the pivot so they did they did everything that couples do everything that consists of a relationship but they just didn't have a label on it maybe he wanted to like you know still kind of see other girls or whatever cuz he's like a young guy and he yeah. you know he's very popular and but anyway so she probably you went along with it for as long as she could and she probably kind of hit a point where she was like you know what screw it like he is hooking up with girls i'm gonna like i'm gonna get mine i'm gonna do i'm gonna do me and she did that and he his ego got bruised yeah and he was like she cheated on me and it's like no she made she, you guys were never a couple so you can't cheat on someone if you're not together but again like there it sounds like there was something between them and you know obviously yeah. he is hurt because it was someone close to him etc if that's true but th that's what they're saying um 
I don't know. Like I said, I think this was kind of a page of out of Fuckboy 101. Well, the, like, call it, it's the bite back and pivot. Yeah. You get called out, you scream for a second, yes. and then you somehow manipulate it around so that yeah. you're mad at them. Yeah. So he was, try- he was trying to make it yeah. look like, So she's you know, no, it's no longer about her being upset. It's about right. him being upset. Right. And mm-hmm. Even though he might be the one to blame here, but we, we don't know. But this is just, there's a lot of back and forth. But How then, is this not a reality? How is Team 10 not a This is probably are... what they're trying to get, right? Because <laughs> right. I'm, I'm this like... This is real world stuff. I'm eating this shit up like crazy. So he said, and then he also tweeted, so like after she kind of was like, we were never dating, and I think people kind of were wising up to like Mm -hmm. his game, or I don't know, they were just sort of like, what the hell are you talking about? So he said, I think she is super talented and means well deep down. However, I can't have her in my space after having my heart broken. We will work it out, heart emoji. And um, he's like, let's stop tweeting each other when we're in the same house, Adelisa Violet. Regardless, you will always be my friend. (laughs) And but then and then she but that's then even she, the best part. Let's stop tweeting at each tweeting about each other while we're probably sitting right next to each like, other. Like, yeah. See, that's what makes <laughs> that's me think so weird. That's what makes me think like this could be an act because it's yeah. like they could be sitting there conspiring, like be like, oh, we would say this, like this is so funny. People will yeah, whatever. But and then all and then I don't know if this is true or not, but Alyssa mm-hmm. tweeted this saying, Jake's releasing new Jalissa merch, and it's a picture of me crying with Jalissa crossed out. I feel so disrespected right now. I have no proof as to whether or not there is Jalissa merch with that on it, but that's what she's saying, and if that's true, that's super, I think that's messed up. It sounds, again, very Jake Paul, because they did make Jalissa merch, and then once that came out, right. that's when it kind of, like, got a little bit more excessive with, like, them yeah. posting pictures together to right. kind of, like, s- like spur people to actually buy the merch, right. which was, like, very, again... For a couple that d- d- might not even exist. It's not, it's not come even, Come on, yeah. guys, come on. Um, and then I love this, so I, um, so there's this other podcast that I love and I listen to, it's called Who Weekly, and they always kind of, it's just about, like, celebrities who are kind of who's, like, yeah. Jake and Paul, Jake Paul and Elizabeth Violet could be who's to someone, like, someone might not know who these people are, <laughs> and so Bella Thorne is someone that they refer to a lot on Who Weekly, and she chimed in, Bella Thorne, you know, because everyone was, like, dying for her opinion on this. She's like, she says, I love you both, but keep this shit off Twitter, yo, and mention them. So, Bella Thorne sh- thinks she should take this offline, literally, um, which that just made me, that made, that cracked me up, but, she yeah. must be She must be in between red carpet looks. And yeah. <laughs> I know, well, I love she's like, keep this stuff off Twitter, but I'm like, she's pretty public about her life on Twitter. Wasn't that that whole thing with her She should come on here and do a live, he said, she said. Yes, well, <laughs> basically. <laughs> basically, but again, Please like... Please come on our show. I know. <laughs> We'd love to have that one. This could be all, you know, like we said, this could all be fake. This all could be a ploy. This could be, yeah. there could be some overarching thing that they're going to, punk like this could be punked like 2.0 like they yeah tomorrow it might us. be oh this whole conversation is and null you know and void Irre- irrelevant we drank that tea we, yeah, we, we did we it up I, like nothing right now I'm eating, <laughs> I'm eating this up right now and I'm the kind of person where I think everything on the internet is fake unless it's like a really crazy conspiracy theory like have you ever heard the conspiracy? So Louis Tomlinson, I think he's back with his old girlfriend now. That's what people are saying, Eleanor. Yeah. There are like conspiracy theories that she's like three different girls. Like I'm like that's true. That is true. Wait, this how? like breakup story fake, but that is true. <laughs> I know that's and like Beyonce. Like I'm just I. Beyonce I'm being a, pregnant. I'm like a conspiracy theorist. Like I will believe any, but I think everything else is fake. <laughs> yeah, that's it, true. Some of it could be true, and they just turn it into something. Yeah, you know or like, that, like YouTubers yeah. find like the one thing happens, and it's like. Yet. That's all, this whole joke, like, you know, somebody, like, the, your Uber driver sneeze, and it's, like, a video yeah, comes yeah, out, yeah. how my Uber driver tried to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, any other final thoughts on this? I just... No, but it could just be fake, too, like, that whole, like, Rob and China breakup thing. Right. Like, like, around Christmas, like... When Rob was, like, posting Snapchats yeah. of, like, how she had taken all the things out of the kitchen. I'm gonna say real dating... Drunkish kind of fighting that yeah. turned into ooh we're getting attention. Yeah, yeah, that could be it. Stuff. I don't so think they like, were actually dating. But I, think I think it's a small conspired. seed of truth yeah. to something that's entertaining. Yeah, like I said though, I think that we'll I think that there could be, like I said, I stated my theory earlier. I think that they really were sort of kind of dating, but they just didn't have they did not have a label on it, 
And so right. that's when Jake had the freedom to like hook up with these other girls and, so and Alyssa and so and then but when she finally like pulled the trigger and did it, he's like, Whoa, you cheated on me. Guys, I feel like when guys get their egos bruised, they have a tendency to like go low. And yeah. that's what he did with her, being like, I took her from two thousand followers at Panera bread to five million followers. It's like, dude, like just cause she was like sick of your shit and you know, yeah. whatever. But takeaway um, is we're gonna go to Panera Bread. Yeah. <laughs> I would love some Panera Bread. That Panera like, wins this delicious. entire situation. Yep. <laughs> yeah, winner Panera, Panera Bread. Um, so kind of on the, so we, I said that this was going to be like a Paul heavy episode. Um, another like kind of sh- pivoting to his brother, Logan. So this is like a tiny bit old, but last week he posted a vlog with Danielle Bergoli, I believe for how her name is pronounced. I could be wrong. I don't really feel like <laughs> double checking, but I don't think it'll matter. Yeah, she's <laughs> AKA she's the ca- the cash me outside girl, and they did a vlog together, and it just made me feel like uncomfortable. Up, I want right? to say she's only thirteen, which I think people forget. And Logan, I think, is like twenty one, and like I get that it was born out of humor. Like he was like, oh, this is gonna be so funny. People are talking about the catch me outside girl, blah blah blah. But, like, it just felt like he, again, this kind of goes back to the using people. Like, he's like, oh, people are talking about her, so I'm going to use her to get clicks. This has over 3 million views as of right now. And, you know, she's like, oh, I'm going to use this Logan guy because he's popular. And and she's trying to, like, she's a squirrel trying to get that nut. Like, she's trying to chase after. She's the 16th minute. Right. Right. She is looking for that 16th minute. Mm -hmm. Um... And so I don't know. Did you? Do you guys? What do you think? Do you think it's weird? Do you think it's fine for people to like use each other in that sense? I think it's pretty transparent that that's what it is. Yeah, it's not I'm like, pretty sure. It's that not like no one's hiding it. They're like, yeah. oh, I Logan don't... was like, let's get the cash me outside girl to be in this vlog. I don't know. I think yeah. it'd be worse if he brought her on and was like making fun of her. Yeah. Is you know whatever you want to say about her, you can. But like, I feel like you there are a couple she's an easy, of she's an easy target. But yeah. It's, I but. I don't know, I she's like, topical, and then... I feel like advantage. there were a couple of moments, though, where Logan was even like, this girl is, like, too much right now. <laughs> like, she is well, a yeah, lot to handle. And Logan crazy. is a lot to handle, yeah. so... She is in- I mean, insane for a 13 year You don't go on Dr. Phil twice before you're 14. And yeah, for, exactly. Because you're like... And also punch somebody on a Spirit yeah, Airlines right. flight. Oh. And so speaking of, so another kind of note on this Danielle Bergoli girl, people, you know, talking about her, she... First of all, this is like, how dare you? But she was talking shit about the like about Kylie Jenner and the Kardashians, saying how she was gonna beat them all up. And then, but it was really funny. So it was like this paparazzi video. Uh-huh. So I'll play it. There's a little bit of language in here. Um, of course, there apologize, is. From but her? from her. But this is her I think it's talking really, shit or so apologizing. This, this is her. So she called out the Kardashians. Like she said, she was like beat them all up or whatever. And so this paparazzi is asking her questions about it, and this is what she has to say. So. Are you worried they could blackball you from the entertainment Who business? Who goes black? Only from what? They, they might. They might say, hey, don't, you know, tell other people, don't do business with her. She came at me. You're not worried about it? Fuck her. Fuck you. Fuck your mama. Fuck your whole clique. <laughs> I hope, uh, you know, when Kim Kardashian want to do something with you, you know, that they're, they're cool with it. Do something with who? Ain't nobody want to do nothing with them. Fuck them. <laughs> They, what are they? What are they here for? They're fucking talented. If someone steps she to you, she fucked Ray J. Now she's famous. <laughs> So there's just like a lot to unpack from that. Yeah. Um, so like like I said, first of all, how dare you? How dare I'm you a Kardashian, Kardashian lover forever. forever. Like that is so mean. Like you know that if Kris Jenner or someone came to her and was like, hey, do you want to like? She'd be like, okay. Like she'd be hundred percent down. First right. of all, I love her. <laughs> Second. Remember how they sometimes put celebrities at boxing rings and do special events? Oh, oh my, my gosh, gosh, that was yeah, like yeah, totally yeah, back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Like, can we please? Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? Like, this is... outside girl against Kylie Jenner. No, they did oh, that. Wait. They did. Remember, it, this was like on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, like years and years ago. Rob, yes, 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 I remember this. Like, literally boxed yeah. someone. Yeah. I won't put Kylie past being scrappy. Oh, Kylie. I feel like Kylie can but totally. But this girl be scares down. me. See, but I feel like <laughs> Kylie is more like mm-hmm. mentally like she would send other people to do her work for her yeah, which is the smarter thing to do out of the, like yeah the danger 
because Kris Jenner is like the smartest businesswoman alive and that's like she would just get someone else to like do it for her and but I, I just you don't want to talk badly of the Kardashians honey especially when you're in your position where you're like people are still kind of like don't know who you are or if they do know who you are yeah. it's because you're I think the takeaway is Teen Mom 4 on MTV is going to be so good. <laughs> so good with Danielle. It's going to be lit. It's going to be lit. But it's um, like, she can't make fun of the Kardashians for being nobody. Like, you're she nobody. is nobody. Right. And, like, people are just giving her too much attention. The fact that the TMZ, is that TMZ? I, it was, I don't know. It was from, a it, like, an Instagram account. It might have been a TMZ mm-hmm. paparazzi, but I have no idea. Whatever. Just the fact that people are giving her attention is, like, making her be too important. Yeah. And she's, like, really irrelevant. And see, yeah. I hate it. It's, like, we are giving her attention we are right now by talking to her. <laughs> Which I hate, but Come like on the show, <laughs> Danielle Percoli will. But if I, yeah, if I had the chance to interview her, I would totally do it. I'd be too scared. I think I would like. I don't have the balls to do that. I, I she, she I find her scary. She is terrifying. But she'll have a show by next fall. Like I said, she we we've will. talked about this before. Um, but she just gives me like honey boo boo vibes. Like this, none of this is gonna go well. Mm-hmm. Like I think she doesn't have the right. What's wrong with the boo? Honey boo boo, are you kidding me? <laughs> Mama that, June. yeah, um, I mean, we, I, I don't even want to open that can of worms. <laughs> New show on Friday on We Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I don't true. even want to open that I haven't looked at any room. photos, but I want to see what she looks like. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know. I just think, do you she guys think that she, already. do you think she's going to die? Do you think it's going to die down or do you think it's going to keep going? <laughs> Do you no, think I she's think gonna she, die? I don't think she's going <laughs> to think she's going. I think she's playing it too well. She'll fade. I mean, she'll fade. She's a she's another flash like, in the pan, like scrappy. I just We've seen like, girls like that who yeah. maybe buy herself some time. It depends on if anybody wants to deal with her. Yeah. True. She True. seems like an awful person to deal yeah. with. She's entertaining to watch, yeah. but I just feel like this is like one of those situations where she's not necessarily going to have like the right people around her, so she's not going to oh. make the right decision. So she's going to do those weird things. And I don't she know. has like an app now though too. Jesus Christ, what? Like a Cash Me Outside app game, and it's like doing really well in the app store. So <laughs> I feel like that. I don't know. She might be like smarter than we think oh, she is. Anyone? She probably will be around for a really long time. She'll become a YouTuber and she'll be this whole no. big thing. She's, literally, like, she's probably like already graduated high school and is like a Benson yeah, member, and we just all and we're all falling for it. <laughs> oh my god! It's a whole play. If, Again, it, turns, it's fake. if it turns out Jake Paul's behind this girl, I'm gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, though that would be an ultimate twist. Or Team Ten, like because yeah, they like to foster people and digital creators. It's an opening. And, and she, what's her name? Danielle. Danielle the new, is the new Alyssa. Oh my god, yeah, they're gonna start dating now. Oh yeah. my gosh, um, but yeah, I just. Again, I feel like she keeps coming up. I'm like, do you guys think she's going to die down? But I feel like we've talked about her like multiple, times multiple something. times on this podcast. So it's like, shit, dang it. <laughs> she is going to be around, I think, for a minute. But I think it would serve her well to watch who she talks about. And um, yeah. again, like, don't cross the Kardashians. Like, I'll, I'll do the, like, I said I was too scared. But like, if Kylie asked me personally, Will you fight Danielle Bergoglio? I'd be like, sure. I would do it. I for sure would. I would do anything, anything for the Kardashians. I love them. Um, any final thoughts, guys? This, I just, what an emotional ride. I hope she doesn't spend all their money, which yeah. she will. But what? So is she what making money off the app? I think so. I'm sure. It's like kind of like the Kim Kardashian app. And Kim makes so much money off that thing. Yeah. She's forever a meme. Side. She's forever a meme. Forever a meme. Yeah. Yeah. That's all it is. She's forever. forever a meme. Forever a meme. Well, who knows? Maybe we'll be talking about her next week because she'll <laughs> be on, like, I don't even know, some <laughs> reality show. I, whatever. Anyways, so speaking of, we're going to move on. This is, like, a terrible transition. But, um, <laughs> a hard right turn. A hard right turn. Okay. Um, so I do not want to follow Danielle Bergoli. But someone I do like to follow. See, there is a That's sort a of a better transition. transition but mm-hmm. Still terrible. So we have this thing. We have a series on uh, Instant called "You Should Follow," and it's basically just kind of highlighting people that we like, up and comers. Mine isn't necessarily an up and comer because um, he has like seven million followers or something <laughs> like that. But I'm personally a really big fan of um, Daquan on Instagram. Yes, I find yes, him yes, to be yes. very hysterical. The best um, memes. The best memes, like. You know, fuck Jerry has good memes and like beige cardigan, but I don't know. There's just something about Daquan that really um, makes me smile. And I feel like I see memes on his page before other ones. Um, Like he's pretty quick. 
Yeah. I would say, again, there are so many Instagram parody and like funny accounts to be following, but I believe Daquan is the best. Who do you guys like? What's, what are, who are some accounts that you like to follow? I follow a lot of, well, DJs. Mm -hmm. But what's, the weirdest one is like, they're all different. So like Dylan Francis is like goofy. He's like funny. Mm -hmm. He always has characters. But like Zed, if you follow Zed, he's so normal. Yeah. Like he literally he's will so Snapchat like him cooking dinner like all the time. <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh because he's like, he snaps a lot and it's like, he just is like being normal. Yeah. I guess. But, um, and the one we're going to do this week, you'll see on instant, is like, it's called Draw on These Tweets. Draw, draw on the tweets or your tweets. Draw on your tweets. Mm -hmm. on Twitter and like you sub like if you submit like a tweet or they hear somebody that like, I tweeted something they will actually like, cartoon it out like into a scene I've seen those I don't know if this is a sp I, think, a I love that kind of stuff I don't know like. if this is like a specific account but I've seen that like I, there's sort of like a meme similar to that where it's like make my head less round and then it's like they literally photoshop your face to be like a square right. so, like you'll say something like and they'll just do something like yeah. so obscene this was, yeah. like, this was like a real like cartoonist like artist that's really like cool. he makes a scene out of your whatever your tweet is he will make it into a scene in the one block and it's like kind of cool that's really cool stephanie <clears throat> hilarious. mine's kind of on the meme spectrum too so i've I always like look to Martinis and Mayhem mm -hmm. at Martinis and Mayhem because it's very like kind of like girl related like yeah. to me. So uh, when I never need when I ever need a meme to like text somebody and like my best friend or like mm -hmm. whatever, I'll go to that that um, profile. So yeah. that's I also the one I, love I recently like just discovered the Instagram Discover page like a couple months ago, and that's because I know my <laughs> my I know right. My, because my younger sister and I tag each other in like everything. Right. And she would always tag me. I'm like, God, she follows so many accounts. And I'm like, oh, uh, she just tags me from the Discover page. Yeah. Because now I do that. And it's such a time suck. But you have to make sure that you're liking things that you actually like. Like, because like, otherwise your Discover feed will just you're be gonna, filled like, with like all this shit crazy. that you don't care about. Like sometimes if you look at my features, like if you do search and it yeah. pulls up, it's like all like dogs, mm. yeah. like French bulldogs and like, uh -huh. and then rando things. Mine's a lot of cat stuff um, and like some Disneyland stuff and then like memes. Yeah. There was like a moment in time, like a couple weeks ago, where all of my Discover um, things were like in Spanish and I'm like, I don't speak Spanish. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like what? Yeah, a different language and I'm like, no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and follow me. Yeah, and follow, you can follow all of us, so. Like um, Jake Paul, I'm only here to use you for the followers. Yeah, <laughs> Jake Paul, if you ask any of us to come in to move, move into the Team 10 house, we'll be there in a, in the, in a GIF. But, so, if you want to follow us, uh, you can follow Instant, we're at Instant, D-O-T-M-E. That's Facebook and Twitter, Instagram, Instagram. everything like that, right? So, Seven yeah. social media gal, so. Hope I got and when we post it. about this podcast, include your thoughts about yes. the whole Alyssa, Jake drama, yes. or the Cash Me Outside girl, your whatever thoughts. you want to talk about. I mean, you have to have thoughts on her by now. If you don't, then exactly. that, where, what are you doing with your life? Yeah. Um, and if you want to follow us, I'm at a Hasica, Twitter, Instagram, Stephanie. I'm at Steph Faz on, on all of it. Oh, uh, yeah, actually. Uh, see, on Instagram, I add Johnny underscore rats because somebody has Johnny rats. Dang it. And yeah. has only never posted a thing, maybe one. Rude. I hate that. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> but there's bots now that, like, pick up the name if they, like, get rid of it. Oh. So you won't ever get it. I'll never get Dang it. Dang it. But anyways, yeah, give us a follow. And again, um, be sure to include all your thoughts. Do you think Jake and Alyssa really were dating? Do you think this is all a ploy and that we are... We are just like pawns in their scheme. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's like a really big Do you think those sirens are here for us? <laughs> yeah, they're taking us away because we're just like blown away by all this news. But share your thoughts, share your opinions. We want to hear them. And thanks for listening. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.